Hey guys, Brian here again from stogieridgeview.com. <laughs> IPCPR 2012. It's getting hard to say that over and over again. I'm here with Kirk Kendall, 724. What's up, Brian? Doing well. How you doing? Excellent. Couldn't so, be better, really. The, the first day has treated you well? The first day has been great. I'm glad it's here. Some of the stress and the pressures of getting ready for the show are over. Finally get to do it. Just get yeah, move it. on. Yeah, yeah, It's like yeah. preparing for the Super Bowl, you know? It's once it's, once you're ready. there, yeah. Now we're in the game. We're showcasing some new products, hoping people like it. Yeah, tell us about some of the new stuff you have going on. A uh, couple old brands, vintage brands that I've been staring at on my desk for uh, years. Uh, the Hustler over here. The Hustler I was always fascinated with. I've seen one piece in years past of uh, an old Hustler box. It's actually in the cabinet, but uh, I wanted to bring it back. It kind of reminds me of myself, maybe if I was back in those days, you know, always hustling. So people you have been. You need to get yourself a bowler hat. Yeah, well, I, I have the yeah. shirt and the tie, but. Yeah, oh, the bowler hat, man, that would complete the look. Yeah, it probably would. Yeah. So uh, we put together a cigar. We got it in commerce now. It's uh, a. Is it over here? Yeah, it's a. It's really a mild to medium bodied cigar. I really wanted to come up with something unique with a, a blend. And what it is is a... It's almost like a pinstripe. It's like it's, a pinstripe. Yeah. It's a little different pattern than your traditional barber pole. It's got the uh, Brazilian Matafina and Ecuador grown Connecticut on the wrapper. It's got a uh, Connecticut broadleaf binder. And uh, it's extremely smooth, almost uh, mild, but a lot of flavor, a lot of nice aroma. They burn really nice and they taste good. So we brought it back to life. Got the hustler back. We're gonna uh, see how people like it. Is that a, is that a typical uh, selection that you would buy like that, or is that just kind of a display, well, display special, this, three different sizes? No, we're gonna put it out just like this for the first release. Okay. So uh, three different sizes, nine of each, box of 27. Kind of a little uh, space saver box for the retailer. Yeah. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. If people like it. We'll keep it rolling. What are we What are we looking at in terms of the MSRP for this? Uh, you're gonna look between uh, eight and ten dollar range MSRP. Okay. Oh, is this this yeah. is the uh, the vintage the hustler? That's the original uh, hustler. That's for the original hustler. About how old do you figure that is? I'm gonna say in the twenties. Uh, twenties. Nice. Maybe that outfit will come back. You never know. <laughs> yeah. The original lineup, we brought on a new Lancero this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, I didn't hear about a lot that. of people are talking about it. it it's uh, actually a really good size for that blend. And, uh, it's very flavorful. Burns good. The construction's been good. Been very favorable for uh, people that have tried it. So. Yeah, yeah. I would imagine because I, I've, I've always thought my, my favorite cigar of yours that I've had has always been the Dog Walker. So right. If it's essentially. Of the dog yeah, a little narrower very, ring gauge. It's a little narrow. 38, okay. seven and a half inches. It's, uh, it's good. Got have to give you guys something to try. See what you like. Yeah, sure. What's yeah. up top? This here? Yeah. That's our Nicaraguan uh, release at uh, last year's yeah, show. Last year's, yeah. The, uh, it's been uh, been getting a lot of action lately. A lot of ratings. Cigar aficionado just gave that the. Uh, Top Corona Gore to this issue. Oh, did it? No. Yeah. I hadn't seen that yet. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Keeping that simple, three sizes, really smooth. Nicaraguan with an Indonesian binder. It's, uh, it's pretty good smoke. This is the top of the box right here. Yeah. If you want to check out this uh, spider we got going on. Another old New Hampshire brand. Smoke uh, Spider Union Made Cigar, ten, 10 cent cigar, yes, handmade 10 cent cigar. Came out of South Summersworth, New Hampshire. And, uh, it was, uh, I don't have a lot of history on the brand, but uh, always fascinated on it. Is this another one you think is from the 20s or looking a little bit more modern? 20s. 20s? Yeah, this is a. Uh, Really complex blend, more of the upper medium to full bodied. 
lot of flavor. Uh, the, the construction is really firm, draws perfect. Uh, I really think people are going to like it. This stuff you're looking at up here, it's all vintage cigars. They were made 16 years ago uh, oh, okay. in Costa Rica. This is, uh, these were made, produced, and put away. They never okay. really saw the market. I was wondering, you've got a bunch of them too, so. Yeah, I, got a, I have about 150,000 cigars <laughs> of that lineup, all made in Costa Rica. It's, uh, they aged pretty well. They, they're they're extremely light. mild. Yeah, I was going to say, after that uh, was time. Uh, most of them were in a Lonsdale shape, but I do have a few other sizes down here. It's uh, that was the Erte brand. The, uh, I believe he was a Russian artist. Uh, all the artwork is from Erte. This is the Seven Deadly Sins. So the cigars are all individually oh, packaged. Really? There's a oh, it says Sin, 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 yeah. Sin down the side. <laughs> Each Sin had different artwork. Oh, so lust, anger, sloth, figure out which one uh, you fit in there. He probably gluttony. Yeah. Sloth for me. Sloth, yes. <laughs> that's that's really cool. I love all this vintage. So that's what's going on here. That, that covers it, huh? Awesome. Well, thanks for uh, taking a minute to oh, chat with us. Thanks a lot. Appreciate, Appreciate your, it, yeah. the opportunity.